Ubuntu loaded. It's loaded here. Uh, it's Ubuntu 10.10, 10, Maverick Mercat. And you have two options, install and try Ubuntu, but we'll go directly to the install one. Okay, so... Uh, at first your your Wi-Fi board won't work, so you won't be able to connect wirelessly. But this actually isn't a drawback, you can install everything that's on the CD and then you connect through Ethernet, Ethernet to some router and then you can install your updates and everything will be working fine after your Ubuntu updates. So uh, I'll install third party software and hit forward. So, uh, the next step is to specify the partitioning and the installation of Ubuntu. Uh, and that's somewhat the tricky part. Uh, you have to, in this allocate drive space section, you go to specify partitions manually. And once you select it, just hit forward. Uh, the installation wizard will detect your partitions and you'll see them listed down here. And we have two partitions here, SDA5 and SDA6. Both of them FAT32 that we created before to be our root and our swap partitions for Linux. Just as I said, Windows needs to be booted off of a primary partition, but Linux does not. So the installation, the Windows installation doesn't, can see, can find those partitions and they're listed as empty space. But uh, the Linux partition does, the Linux install does find those partitions and we can install on them. So uh, you see that I've created a 55 gig partition that will be used for root partition. So I'll just select this one, hit change. And I'll use the whole partition and I'll select I'll select the, the file system as ext4 journaling, journaling fat file system. Sorry about my English. So there you go, you hit journaling file system. You will format the partition and you will define this, this root so it's only a slash, backslash, you never know which is which. So format the partition and OK. So there you go, you already defined which will be your root partition. So next of all, you take your smaller partition, the one we defined is 12 gigs, that will be used for swap. You select it, uh, and you define it, define it as swap R area here. There you go. Uh, you don't need to format it, format it, or to define this any any mount point. It does it automatically. So it's already defined. You see there. Let me get a little bit closer. You see there that we defined one of the partitions as the mount point for root, the backslash there, and uh, the other one is our swap partition. So, and once we define everything, we just hit install now. Once again, I'll cut this part of the video, and afterwards, we'll go to the next and last step. I hope so. So, Ubuntu installation is complete, and we'll hit restart now. And we see in our refit screen that you already have a triple boot system. So we will boot into macOS for our step, final step on the tutorial. And so since we already have a working installation of Linux, Windows and obviously macOS, the final step is only to take the, the shared partition, format it as NTFS, and so that all systems can write and read from it. Uh, there's a drawback on it at first because macOS at least some the most recent versions already support writing on NTFS but as default macOS does not write on NTFS partitions but that's an easy to solve problem and uh, we can solve it installing the NTFS 3G driver that is the same driver that Linux distributions use. So uh, you have to download the MacFuse 
which is the file file system user space that's on the description it's an open source project so I'll download a DMJ here and uh, you download it you unpack it and you install it it's pretty straightforward just run the package and once you've done it install the NTFS 3G the DMJ uh, this will give you this will give you full support to read and write and TFS partitions once you did it I already did it I won't do it again uh, just reboot your system and your computer will be able to read and write in TFS partitions as a final step you'll need to open your disk utility on disk utility let's go directly to your shared partition that you created here and then let me put this better like this and then you'll see that you have some options here on top and one of them is format or delete I don't know just click on it and you'll see from a drop down just this combo box that you you can pick Windows NT file system that's and you see beside it it's written NTFS 3G and this is this is good because it means that you can format it that you can format it as, N as NTFS so just select this write your, the name of the partition and I'll keep calling it shared and just click format and you'll have your partition as an optional final step you may follow the tutorial that for for the refit screen for changing the refit screen uh, this tutorial is also in the description and you just follow this the tutorial and your refit screen you have some backup files you, you, you change the icons and you change the configuration file and your refit screen will look nicer so now that you have the triple three systems installed and your uh, shared partition I'll reboot the computer so that you can take a look uh, to see how it actually looks like. so this is how your refit screen will look like after you apply the tutorial that's on the link below you see that uh, all the options and uh, the banner are gone and you have some better looking icons here there is a glitch uh, related to the refit loader when you have a shared partition, a shared NTFS partition by default all NTFS partitions are bootable so uh, the refit loader detects your macOS installation, your Linux installation detects your Windows installation that is this one but that your shared partition that was created after actually before your Windows partition is also listed because it's uh, detected as a bootable NTFS partition this is a glitch you can't solve it yet and if you're really annoyed by this then you can format your your shared partition as FAT32 but I won't recommend it because of the 4 gig file size limitation well that's all for now any questions please